Bertie is standing still. Maverick is sitting so nicely. Gavin sitting so nicely, not moving around like a crazy person. Because we have black belt control, don't we? There we go. Wait, not Jessica. It's not Jessica. It's, um, say it, say it. Some of you, I haven't heard it. I haven't seen you in so long. I'm having trouble with it. Oh, Mackenzie and Carl. Carl, 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 Carl. So, so sad. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to mute you guys because we are about to begin. I will mute you at the end so that we can chat or have any questions, of course. It looks like it is time. Tidy up. Play the games a little bit. They're starting to get up now. I play the games a little no. bit. We are standing on oh, no, 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 no. the like black belts, hands at our side. Kenya. Come up, sweetheart. I'm so happy to see you guys. Let's warm up our body. Up in the air, straight up. So let's see who's here. Gavin is the galaxy, right? Carl, Micah, Maverick, Alexander, Cooper. Bring those arms forward. We have Cordy. Oh, man. I forgot to say that. Miranda, Miranda, warm up our body now. Sydney and Graceland. Um, we have some, some uh, trial students on. Is here. this Ga Gavin? Is yes. On? Yeah. Uh, do you want me to change his name up here? Oh, oh just yeah. backwards. Oh. Yeah. Destiny, Kira, Elena, Stella. Mm -hmm. Isla. Let's see who's on my second page. Oh, the Romano kids. Oh, the Romano kids, though. <laughs> Brayden. Is Brayden one of our? And Damian Knox. So, guys, please make sure in, um, that your name is um, all of the students who are taking classes and first names are in there. So, we have those. Um, let's see. Rotate. Caitlin. Oh, my God. Caitlin. <sighs> Rosie. Uh, Braden. Is Braden a new one or is he a sibling? There's Where do I put the name? Braden is um uh uh the Craigs. Jeremy. Oh, guess what? Lewis. Yeah, Paul was telling me last night. Oh, it's broken. It's okay. Don't don't stress. <laughs> where do I where do I type his name? Um, so the name is spread our feet, guys. What does it say for the name right now? E L B J F. Okay, I can change it for you. Okay, it's <laughs> Dalton Barrett. All right, see? Name. Well, hello, Dalton. I'm glad you're in class. Why is it showing on my screen? Your um video is not turned on. Your video camera. Oh. So in the bottom right corner, you can click Eight start video. I got it. Here we Thank go. You. Thank you. It's working. You're good. All right. Hello, Dalton. Have a great class. I'm going to go ahead and mute you guys. Um, so during the class, we do keep everybody muted at the very end. We'll let everybody unmute themselves and ask questions. Um, and Dalton, today is your first class, right? Right. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Well, welcome. Welcome. For my uniform to come. What was that? I'm waiting for my uniform to come. We'll pick it up, buddy. Okay, but you did the character building sheet to earn it already? Yes, we can. Good, good job, Dalton. Very good. Okay, well, I hope you have a great class. I'm gonna go ahead and um, mute you for, for the time being. All right. Damien is on a trial membership. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of uh, students today, you guys. Two, almost two full pages. That's awesome. Okay, one foot out, ankles and toes. So as uh, what we're doing right now, stretching, warming up our body because we're gonna exercise, right? 
So this month, our theme is healthy habits. And one of those healthy habits is working our body, using our muscles, and getting our heart and our lungs pumping more to get the blood and the air or the oxygen flowing. That's really important to keep our body strong and to continue to use it for a long time. You want it to break down, right? They want to break down it's our, our Another healthy habit, of course, is eating healthy. So, of course, we want to eat a lot of healthy fruit, vegetables, lean meat, maybe dairy. Uh, there's all sorts of things we could eat. But then there's all sorts of foods that we have access to that aren't very healthy, right? Uh, and that's where our black belt discipline and self-control comes in so that we can tell ourselves we know it's not healthy to drink soda instead of water or to eat a ton of candy or sweets or salty foods or fried fruit foods, right? We know that's not healthy, but sometimes they just taste so good that we gobble them up. So we need to use our black belt self-control and discipline to say, no, 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 I don't need that. I can have one piece of candy, right? Do I need the whole bowl of candy? No. Do I need to eat the whole cake? All the cookies? <laughs> no. So I want you to practice that self-control and discipline to the point, Kelt, I switch your other ankle. It gets easier and easier to do it. So that when you become a little older, say middle school, high school, and college, when someone, another naughty kid comes forward trying to get you to try something really bad that you can't just have a little bit, like I'll have a little piece of candy, right? That's okay. No, something bad. So think about what are those super bad things that you shouldn't even try or have a tiny bit? So we don't, we, oh, of course, want to tell that kid, no, I'm not smoking a cigarette. No, I'm not trying those drugs. Put that foot down, reach our foot. No, I'm not drinking alcohol. So there's certain things we, we can't have at all. It's just so bad for our bodies, our brains, our lungs, and our heart. They're just so bad that we don't even want to try them in the first place. And some things we just want to limit. We want to limit eating sugar and salty foods and fried foods because they're just not, they're not healthy for us and they just fill our belly without enough nutrients, right? Spread those feet. How about some other healthy habits? Oh, try to move those hips a little bit. Think about you need enough sleep, right? Sleep is incredibly important. That's when our cells regenerate throughout our body. We rejuvenate our mind, our brain is actually in the process of storing our memories. So if we don't get a reach for one foot, if we don't get enough sleep, uh, did you know you might start forgetting things because your brain didn't have enough time in order to store all those memories in here. So not just memories of everyday activities, but maybe stuff you study. You studied or read a book for school and but why can't I remember it so well? Maybe we need more sleep. Maybe we need more exercise. Could you, did you know exercise actually gets a ton of oxygen and blood flowing to our brain so it works better? And how eating healthy foods feeds our brain with healthy vitamins. One second, Mackenzie. Key other foot. I'll get you in just a moment. I'll get you in just a moment, Mackenzie. Make sure you're using two hands on that foot. We want to get the best stretch possible. Other healthy habits, how about learning, exercising that brain as in learning, always learning something new. There are so many things to learn, you could never learn them all. So there's always something that we could do to educate our brain and keep it growing and strong. How about our hygiene? Back to the center. It's super important that we keep our teeth clean, flossing and brushing every day. A lot of people don't realize that your, the health of your teeth and gums is actually connected to the health of your heart. So if you start letting your teeth rot out of your mouth, of course it looks ugly, it probably hurts, and it's gonna be harder to eat food, but it will also cause problems with your heart. So definitely pay attention to that fact. Maybe I'm like, oh, I don't feel like brushing my teeth. But remember, 
you want to have a healthy body for the rest of your life, right? So teeth are actually important so that your heart stays healthy. Okay, you guys, should yet? While I answer Mackenzie's question, I want to see everyone using their black belt control. Let's see, let's see. Where is Miss Mackenzie on my list here? Nope, that's Maverick. I needed to go the other way to find you, Mackenzie. There we are. What do you have, Mackenzie? Um, I just wanted to share another um, healthy habit. Tell us. Exercising. Oh, yes, that's what the first one we did was exercise. It's so important to exercise our body uh, because we want to keep our body in shape. If you don't use your body, it actually starts to fall apart. The muscles, the bones. Did you know your bones actually start to get brittle and they're easier to break if you don't use your body and your muscles? So we want, but the more you exercise, meaning don't be crazy about exercise, get a moderate amount. Um, and it will actually keep your body stronger for a long time. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. I'm sure you've heard that phrase. Okay, you guys, jump in. Oh, you thought I forget, didn't you? We need 50, now if you're brand new, say this is only your first or second class, I want you to do, not yet, wait for me to say CJEC, which means begin in Korean, I want you to do 10 excellent push-ups and sit-ups because you're probably, you need to start working your muscles to get to that point, right? If you are a white and orange belt, I want 15 sit-ups. If you are an orange belt, I want 17. And if you're an orange with a stripe, I want 19. If you are a green belt, because I see a few greens, I want 21. See ya! Begun! Remember, let's have a positive black belt attitude about this as well. I see you, Romanos. I need push-ups, sit-ups, 10 of them. There we go. Who's this one? Carson! Push-ups, sit-ups, you're doing 10, honey. God, remember, we want to have a positive attitude because we are making ourselves stronger, better. We have more endurance with our heart and our lungs. So tell yourself, whenever you start getting tired, you're like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. That's why you got to tell yourself, I'm getting stronger. It feels good to get stronger. And you're always proud of yourself afterwards. So anytime you have to go do an activity, you're thinking, oh gosh, I don't want to go do that right now. But after you do your karate, after you go and play a game, after you do your push-ups, you feel proud of yourself and you feel good. You don't ever regret doing exercise at the end. Even if you're a little sweaty and tired, you actually never regret it. Even if in the beginning you're like, I don't want to do this. When you are done, hold on, Kima Jossi. Let me back up so the new people can see my feet. So for our newer students who Kima Jossi is new to you, you are pretending to ride a big fat horse your feet are facing forward like a black belt. Your knees are bent because your feet would be in stirrups of your saddle there. You have very tight fist held close to your ribs so that you're ready to protect yourself. So if those knees aren't bent, I need you to bend your knees and your back is straight and confident because you are a future black belt. Are we all done? Let me make sure, hold it, hold it. Working those muscles while you hold that. Make sure, flip my page, make sure everyone is done. Oh, you are, you guys are awesome. Jump me! Okay, you guys. So we are going to start with our basic eight. And if you've been on class for a while, you've noticed for the first few of each of our eights, I've been going slow-mo on purpose because we're practicing yeah. to correctly form our feet and our legs and our balance. Super important to keep our balance. Can you imagine doing a karate move on the bad guy, but your balance is so bad you fall with him and can't run? So we need to improve that balance every chance we get. Even myself, I've been doing this for a while, but I still have to make sure I practice to keep it going. Okay, so get those fists up. 
Okay, you guys. So our odd numbers one through seven are in the front. Let me switch. Okay, in the front here. Okay. And our even numbers two through eight are on the back side. So number one, I'm just going to jab. Throw it out. It is a left hand. Throw it out. Throw it out, you guys. Okay. So that's number one. Just throw it out. Hut. And hi ya. Give yourself some power. Hi ya. Hut. Number two is this back arm. You're going to punch forward. Of course, we're going to do it faster. But did you see my foot? How it pivoted? That's to throw the power of my hip into it. So forward. Okay. Let's give it some power. Two. Two. Hi -ya! Two. Two. Now let's put one and two together, you guys. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, now start with our kicks. Number three is this front leg on the left. Okay, it's a front kick or an up chucky. Say up chucky. Okay, four steps here. Slow mo. Keep those fists up. Raise the knee. Make sure your foot, your toes are curled back. So if you need to, squish your butt so you can get those toes curled back because you want to kick with the ball of your foot and not your toes. Can you imagine kicking with your toes? It would hurt. Kick out. Back, down. Let's do it again. Remember, we're working on our balance. One, two, three, four. Are you ready for some speed? Number three. Hiya! Make sure to keep those fists up. Bend that knee. First thing, got to bend that knee. Three. Three. Okay, number four. Same thing. Up chucky or front kick. Four steps. Slow mo. One, two, three, four. Slow mo again. One, two, three, four. Give us some speed. Four. Hiya. Four. Hiya. Okay, number five is this front leg on the left here. It's going to be a yup chucky. Say yup chucky or side kick. Five steps here, slow mo. One, lift the leg. Two, turn it over, blade your foot. Basically, you turn your foot sideways to do that. Kick with your blade, bring it back, down. One more time, going slow mo. One, Gavin, fist up. Two, three, four, Five. See, one day you guys are going to have that amazing balance. I know it. He fast. Five. Five. Hiya. Okay, number six is that back leg. Same thing. Yup, Chucky. Side kick. Five steps. But you got to turn over so much more. So one, two, three, four, five. Put it back. One more time. Slow mo. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I almost lost my belt. Six, six, hiya! You guys getting hot and sweaty? I hope you are. <laughs> Warming up that body. Number seven, that front leg again. It's gonna be a round kick or dolly or chucky. Keep those fists up. Okay, first step, bring the knee up with the heel automatically by your bottom and bring that, that knee up. I don't want your knee hanging down. I want it all the way up. Kick, back to your bottom, down. One more slow-mo. Knee up, heel to your bottom, Kick, get that knee up. Kick, back to our bottom, down. With some speed, number seven, hiya! So a round kick almost always goes to our heads. We gotta get our leg up. Seven! Last one, number eight, back leg. Round kick or dolly chucky. Four steps again. Knee up. Heel to our bottom. Kick out. Back to our bottom. Down, put it back. One more slow-mo. Knee up, heel to our bottom. Turn that body over. Kick, back to our bottom. Down, bring it back. 
Ready for some speed number eight. Hi-ya! One more, seven, or me and eight. Hi-ya! <laughs> Good job, you guys. Show me. So hopefully you guys are a little more warmed up with that body. Uh-oh, Brayden, Brayden, is it an emergency question? Type it into the chat box if it's an emergency or you really need the answer. Chumbi! So we are going to work on our form today. And for you guys, that is now this quarter, Sekion Sambu. So I want you guys to say Sekion Sambu. Hoi, hi. Okay, so that's not important. Everyone needs to be holding their chumbi. Hey, stop saying all this high stuff. That's not helpful. Okay, go away chat box. Okay, oh, boy, hi. You. Ew, key jokey. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around so my, hopefully my mirror image does not confuse you guys. But the first thing you need to know about Seiki Ensemble is that it means three or third, okay? So if you ever heard your psalm, that's three, like a third degree would be called three. So the two main moves you need to remember to help you remember this form every time you do it is that it's a middle block or a maki, and that it is a round kick or dolly chucky, okay? Those are the main moves within this form. Okay, so chumbi, I want you to form your hands like this. The bottom one is the one that's gonna come up to do the middle block. So it needs to be the left one. So the left one is on the bottom for our middle block. I want you to look over your left shoulder and I want you to do a hugel jossie, not a chungle jossie, a hugel jossie, middle block or chungle maki. Make sure it's your left. Look at your arm and say, is that my left arm? <laughs> okay, now I want you to step forward with your right leg into a chungle jossie, punch. <laughs> chungle jossie, punch. I want you to form your hand again with your right on the bottom. Again, look at your arm and say, is that the right one on the bottom? Look over your right shoulder, turn, Google jossie, Chunga Maki. Don't go ahead, even if you know it. So if you or one of the students is like, ah, I know this, this form's so easy. I've already memorized it. That means don't get impatient. Instead, you need to look at every aspect of your body. Is my stance perfect? Is my arm perfect? Is my tight fist? All sorts of things, okay? So perfect it, okay? Step forward with your left. Chungle jossie, punch. Okay, now I want everyone to turn towards your camera. Just look at your camera or your TV, whatever it is. Google jossie, ready for kicks. Good job. Your left foot is in, the in front. So look, is your left foot in front? So we're doing this. We're protecting our face, you guys, for our new guys. Google jossie. Okay, since this is the third form, it is the third kick, which are round kicks or dolly chucky. Start with your right leg. Round kick, one. Round kick, two. Round kick, three. Hi okay, let's do that again. Chumpy, let's do that first part again, and then we'll move on to a, to a few extra moves after that. Because I know we have some new people who are like, oh my gosh, what's going on, right? Maverick, hold it. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. Okay, form your hands. Uh, the left is on the bottom, left arm on the bottom. Look over your left shoulder, step into a hoogle jossie, chunga mock your middle block. Okay, with your right leg, chungle jossie, punch. Right leg forward. Okay, form your hands again. Your right arm is on the bottom. Right arm on the bottom. Look over your right shoulder. Step behind yourself. Google Jossie, Chunga Maki. 
Okay, step forward with your left, jungle dossing, punch. Okay, face your camera, TV, computer, whatever it is that you're using as a camera, and poodle dossy. Protect yourself, nice tight fist. Protect yourself. We're gonna start with our back leg, which is our right leg, and dolly trick me one. Dolly trick me two. Dolly trick me three. Hey, we land with our right leg in front. Right leg in front, you guys. Uh oh. Cracked out. One computer just went out. Okay, form, you're gonna move on. Form your hands again. Your left arm is on the bottom. Left arm on the bottom. I want you to look over your left shoulder. Turn, turn, turn. Hugo Jesse, middle block. Step with your right, jungle jossie, punch. Form your hands again. Teach your right on the bottom, right on the bottom. Look over your right shoulder. Turn, turn, turn. Hugo jossie, chandamaki. Step with your left foot, jungle jossie, punch. Look towards the back of your room. So look at the opposite wall of where your camera or computer is. And that's going to be over your left shoulder. Cool, Jossie. Protect your face. Keep those fists up nice and tall. Hold it. I think I'm going to fix the computer aspect here. But hold that hoogle, Jossie. There we go. I lost that part for a moment. Let me make sure everyone. So your left foot is in front. Look down. Is it your left foot that's in front, you guys? Good job. Now, can anyone guess what kind of kick we're going to do? <laughs> Jolly Chucky Road Kick, right? <laughs> so with your back leg, which is your right leg, start with your right leg. Jolly Chucky one. Jolly Chucky two. Jolly Chucky three. Hi -ya! Okay, so your right leg landed in front. Look down, did your right leg land in front? So don't look at me. I know none of you should be seeing me right now because you're facing the other direction. I want you to just listen to my directions, okay? So I want you to form your hands again. Your left hand is on the bottom. Left hand on the bottom. You shouldn't even have to look at me, just listen. Look over your left shoulder. Step behind yourself, Google Jossie. Chungamaki. Look at that. Good job, you guys. Romano, the boy Romano, because I don't know your name. Switch your hands, honey. Do what your sister's doing. There we go. But face the same way your sister is. You see her? She's got it. Perfect. Awesome. Step with your right leg, Chungle Jossie. Punch. Okay, form your hands again. Your right one is on the bottom. Look over your right shoulder. Step behind you. Google Jossie, Chung Dot Maki. Good job, Cooper and Elena, the Romanos, Destiny, Miranda, Stella, Cordy. Breeden, switch your leg and your leg and your arm, honey. Just switch it to the other side. Just switch your leg and, yeah, there we go. Good job, who is, I can't remember your name. Dalton, I don't quite see Landon. Let me look at my second pitch, make sure everyone's doing awesome. Maz, Kiera, ooh, everyone with Alex, Clayton and Everett, Alexis and Jacob, Damian, Mackenzie, Kaylin. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys look so awesome. Rosie, Carl. I can't see Isla, Micah, or Heather, you guys. You guys look good. Guess what? Guess what? It's the last move. Step forward. Bye, I hope we all have a huge high on there. Jumpy! Was that awesome or what, you guys? <laughs> so it looks like a big I or T. I'm actually going to draw, um, and I'll put it on Facebook. And there's not a single pencil or anything in here, of course. When I need a pencil, I was gonna just show it to you, but it's like a 
big I or T the whole way. So you go up the, you start left, you go right, you go up the middle, you go left, you go right, you go up the middle, you go left, you go right, and you're done. <laughs> so I'll, I'll draw that though. I'm sure my little finger doodle wasn't very accurate there. <laughs> Hold that jumpy. So we're gonna go over a sum of our graphs because I don't know if you guys actually were able to get to your graphs on Wednesday. So we're gonna work on a few of those. So number six and seven and eight, that's what you're doing, are all in the back. Your attacker is going to grab you from the back. So imagine that can happen in real life, right? You're in the store, you're in the mall, you're on a sidewalk, the playground. Someone could easily grab you from the back. And that's what they're gonna do. So number six is your belt. So everyone hold your hand out like this, palm down. That's how they're gonna grab you. Same, when you finally are able to work with a partner, say like Alexis and Jacob, their brother and sister at home, so they can actually practice with each other. It's palm down for both six and seven, okay? So they're gonna grab your belt. Here in the studio, we would grab the belt, right? But if you're out in public, everyone has to wear bottoms. So it could be a skirt, short, pair of pants, whether or not you happen to be wearing a belt or not. A real belt, like a clicky belt, not a karate belt, okay? Um, someone could just easily grab you, right? Oh, shoot a food I need someone. Evelyn, can you come here real quick? So my daughter happens to be with me. She's a junior black belt. Unfortunately, she's not in her uniform yet, but I forgot that neither of them are white belts. <laughs> come here, lose your shoes real quick. So just so it looks, uh, so I want you to be able to see exactly what this might look like. It's okay. She's got her t-shirt on at least, right? <laughs> Bow on, come on. So she's a junior black belt. Okay, so come and grab them for number six. Okay, so let's turn so they can also see all directions here. Okay, see, she's grabbing me from my belt. Now let's turn back the other way so they can see that. Okay. So you have to look over your shoulder. It does depend on the arm, which arm they're grabbing you with. Can look. If I turn this way, what do I run into you guys? I run into an arm, right? That's not gonna help me out. It's gonna make it harder for me to defend myself if I run into the arm. That's why you have to look. So then I look the other way. I'm running into her chest. So let's turn this way now, okay? So I run, and if I turn this way, I come into her chest area instead, okay? So what I want you to remember for number six, say it over, over, say over, over. That makes a huge difference. Because it's a low grab, you need to bring your arms over, over. So your first one, the arm that's closest to them, bring it over their elbow. Your other arm, the one that's farthest away from them, bring it over their shoulder. Then this leg, this leg right here, the one that's farthest away from the bad guy, you're gonna use it to sweep because it gives you power, okay? So let's do that again. So she grabbed me. Okay, arm closest to them, over elbow, over shoulder. Using my right leg with the one that happens to be farthest away from the bad guy, I'm gonna use it to, sweep and bring the power of my hips in to bring them down. Because remember, once you get to a green belt, you actually throw them to the ground, okay? So Evelyn's gonna demonstrate that so you can see what you could do for a bad guy. So I'm going to grab Evelyn and she's gonna throw me down, right? Okay, so that's what it would look like. So you can stand to the side, we'll have to do number seven in a moment. Oh, stay right there. Okay, so they've grabbed me. I looked. I know I need to turn this way. So I'm going to, my first arm, over there to their elbow, over to their shoulder, use the leg farthest away, sweep them down. Hiya. Okay, that's number six. So I wanna see you guys do that. Do number six for me. Even if you don't have a partner, do your best. Make sure you sweep that outer leg to you that the power of your hips is really helpful. Make sure you sweep your leg, Micah. Bring your leg, so watch my leg. My leg's going to sweep back so I have the power of my hips. Hannah, let me see it again. 
Hannah Foster, can I see it again, honey? There we go. Look at you getting stuff done. Isla's like taking our dad down or something. <laughs> okay, number seven, you guys, Chumby. Number seven is also from the back, but they're gonna grab here, the back of your shirt. And again, when you're in public, we're all wearing a shirt, right? A shirt, a dress, whatever. We're wearing something that they could easily grab on the back. And it's again, palm down. So Miss Evelyn, can you come grab me? Okay, so go that way so they can see. Again, you're gonna look. Where? Again, if I turn this way, I'm in an arm, no good. So I need to turn the other way into her chest, okay? Now I want you to listen carefully and repeat it. Under, over, say under, over. Because it's a high grab, I now, the arm closest to her needs to come under to her elbow. The one furthest away needs to go over to the shoulder. Again, that leg farthest away, which happens to be your right, you sweep it to throw them down. Okay, and of course you guys don't throw people down yet because you're not a green belt. Okay, so let's do that again. Okay, under elbow, over shoulder, sweep the right leg back to use our hips to bring them down. Now Evelyn's going to grab, no, I'm gonna grab Evelyn so she can throw me to the ground and show you how it would look in real life. Okay. There we go. So let's do it in there. One more. We're going to do number eight. It's because there's some new people. They meant they don't know how to do number eight. Okay. So I got to look, look for seven. Okay. It's this way. So I'm going to go under to the elbow, over to the shoulder, sweep my furthest leg away, pull them down. hi -ya! Okay. Let me see you do it. Number eight. Keep doing it because remember, I have all these uh, little t cameras I have to look at. Remember, sweep that back leg. Sweep the leg furthest away to give you power. Sweep that leg. And again, Isla's like beating up dad or something. I hope you took him down with number seven, Isla. Oh, I have some questions. Let me see if I can find you. Uh, where are you? There's Destiny. Okay, De uh, not Destiny. Aaliyah, what's your question? You said number eight. I mean number seven, so sorry. Well, I was talking to my daughter. I said she had to stay for number eight, but we're doing I seven. Right you told now. us to do number eight instead of seven. So I was being confused because everyone was doing seven and I was like, wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah, seven, sorry, honey. No, that's usual for me to, uh, my mouth and my brain aren't always connected, sorry. You're fine. <laughs> okay, and Miranda had a question, but where's Miranda? I gotta find you, Miranda. Miranda, where are you, darn it? There you are, Miranda. Okay, what's your question, honey? I don't understand. I didn't understand six. Well, six so is I've the been, same as seven, uh, honey. Yeah, but I've been all questioning for six. Okay, well, here, we'll do it again in there. Okay, so watch Miranda stand up. Okay, so number six, they're grabbing the back of your pants or your belt, okay? So you need to look because you need to turn into their chest, not their arm. So for number six, what you need to remember is over, over. So we're going to bring our arm closest over to grab their elbow. Bring the other arm over to grab their shoulder. Now your right leg, sweep your right leg back to bring them down. There we go. Yeah, bring them down, there we go. You thought I lied because I heard you, I didn't hear the. Okay, it's okay. Okay, number eight, Evelyn. Okay, so we did six and seven, which is then our belt or our pants, and then the top of our shirt. Number eight for our brand new people, if you took a test, you already know a number eight, but for our brand new people, hold your arms like this. So your left arm is bent, left is bent up, right is straight down, and the bad guy grabs you. Okay, 
with your left. So just listen to my words first. Listen, I don't even think you have to look at me. Just listen. You're gonna shoot out with your left and uh, foot and hand. Shoot for. So I get that hand and you have to do it hard and with energy. So you get your hand out, right? You're right. As you're starting to turn, your right one is going to re-grab their wrist. Re-grab the wrist. Then your left leg. Bring your left leg all the way around. You're in a Kimajasi, basically. And take their elbow, push down. Okay? So you're in a, basically putting them in an arm bar. And when you have control of the elbow, you end up having control of the whole arm and possibly the body. So let's do that again. Okay, the left shoots forward. As you start to turn, your right is re-grabbing their wrist. Your left leg, it has to turn all the way over. Push on their elbow into an arm bar, down. You don't even have to use force. If you get that arm in a good arm, that elbow in particular in a good arm bar, you don't even have to use force. It, they have to go down. So Evelyn, once you're a green belt, of course, you get thrown down. So Evelyn, no, I'm gonna grab Evelyn and she's gonna throw me down. Whoa! See, she's only 11 and she still took me down, you guys. It works. Okay, so let's do that in the air. Okay, have our left one bent, right one straight for number eight. You're gonna shoot forward on the left side. The entire left side shoots forward. As you start to turn that right one, re-grab their wrist. Now your left leg needs to turn all the way over, basically the hemajasi, and you're gonna push down their wrist or their elbow in an arm bar, and they'll go down. It works. Okay, so let me watch you guys do it. Hey, Romano kids, can you guys practice on each other? Oh my gosh, well don't take each other down yet, okay? Not until you're a green belt. I was just demonstrating how it looked. We don't wanna hurt each other because before you become a green belt, you're actually going to learn how to fall properly. There we go, good job, you guys. Jidia, not quite done. We have a few minutes to do something, hopefully fun. What I want you to do, look around your area. I want you to find something light. It could be a light a ball, balloon, a tissue box. Do you have a pad, a pillow, a stuffed animal? Something light, you don't want it to be heavy at all. Something light and sort of smallish. So a teddy bear, a couch pillow. Yep, look at that teddy bear, he's perfect, Elena. One, if you happen to have one of these, not your phone, Miranda, not a phone. <laughs> You're going to kick it. <laughs> So I saw some people had some perfect items for this. Holy moly, there's now a third page? We have so many people. Oh, Maz, that's perfect. Yes, you guys have perfect items there. Good job, you guys. Yeah, there's now a third page. Wowzers. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Okay, I want you to lift your leg up like you're in the middle of doing a sidekick. Now I want you to place your object on your foot and ankle. Then you've got to flip it up and kick it with a round kick. So flip it up, throw it up a little and kick it. Let's see if we can do this, people. Whoa, I missed it. I haven't gotten it with my right. My right's my good leg. And I still haven't gotten it with my right, but I did it with my left earlier. Okay, keep going. Let's see who can actually have some good success with this. Flip, kick. So I finally succeeded. I hit the computer. Thankfully, it didn't fall. So make sure you don't kill anything in the process. Okay, use your other leg. Whichever leg you haven't used yet, let's use it. Okay, flip it up. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got that one. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Are we going to get it? I got that one. Let me see if I... Oops. Do it again, peoples. Uh oh, the dog says it's fetch time, right? Oh man, 
I can't even, I just can't keep it on my leg here. Oh, I got it again. Yeah. Woo. Do you have some success with that? So chitty up. Okay, everyone, put your ball, teddy bear, pillow down, whatever you happen to have, and chitty up. We are out of time. So I want you to actually practice that. Keep practicing it with both legs so they both get, you know, the muscles get worked here. And then take a video and post it on Facebook for a star. That's actually one of Miss Katie's challenges on Facebook right now. And I think it's super fun. So uh, practice, practice. And when you feel like you've gotten better, you're not perfect yet, right? Because it'll take a while to get perfect. But you feel like you've gotten better, take a video and post it on Facebook for a star. And I want to remind you, remember this Friday on Facebook Live, they are having a game night. So we usually have a ninja night. And because we obviously can't have ninja night this month, we're going to have a game night so that you guys can have some fun. So join us at 6.30 this Friday on Facebook Live. Kenya, Kumabsmira, thank you for being such excellent students, you guys. I'm going to unmute anyone. So if you happen to have a question or raise your hand, because it got so loud, I couldn't even hear people um, when they needed a question. So Isla, let me find you, Isla. If you don't have a question, you may leave. There's Isla. Hello, Miss Isla, what do you need, honey? Did you practice um, kicking a pillow or whatever? Um I did not. That was the, um, I did it earlier in the tiny tiger class. And then my second time was with you guys. So I did it a total of eight times. And amazingly, my left leg was better, even though you, my right leg makes way better kicks than my left. Um, but my left leg was the only one I could get kick that thing with. So I think you guys will be awesome. If you put some practice in it, you'll get really good. Okay. I've had one. Let's see. Bye bye, Connor. I'm trying to find you guys. Miss Aaliyah, yes, ma'am. Um, can you let a friend for the Friday night thing? Uh, can I do a what? Can you bring a friend, like have them join yes, on yes, for Friday? Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't see any problem with that, honey. And remember, it's Buddy Day also next Wednesday and uh, Monday and Wednesday. So if you have a buddy, a cousin who even lives out of the country or the state, they should be able to join, okay? Just yeah, get Let's see, I have Dalton has a question. Yes, Mr. Dalton? Okay. Get it out there quick, Mr. Dalton. <laughs> when you were referring to the numbers, we don't have a sheet with the uh, numbers of what you said, do kick eight or do kick six. Oh, that's because you're learning them. So this yeah. time you guys are learning kick six, seven. So it's hands, kicks, grab six, seven, and eight. And then the new form, which is Seiki on, I believe you guys are doing Sambu. So you don't need a sheet. Don't worry about that. Okay. Okay. You okay. have three months of learning. And what you do, of course, come on class, learn, and then of course you practice. And one thing I highly recommend for my students, because my husband and I did it, we both tested it at the same time. We wrote everything down. Okay. Because Sometimes you don't remember. You're like, oh yeah, I've got this, right? And it's the next day and you're practicing. You're like, oh darn it, what was that again? And you can, it helps. Literally writing with a pen and paper helps. It's a physiological, psychological thing. It actually helps you remember things. Right. Whereas typing actually doesn't, which is weird that that doesn't work. And you also now have your notes that make sense to you and you can go back to them. So right now, I don't want Dalton to worry about that. I want him just to continue to take class and practice as much as he can, but don't worry about, oh my gosh, what would like, what was that again? You know, okay. it's a brand new, it will definitely take time. Remember what one day I was brand new too. It takes time and okay. you will get it. So don't allow yourself to get frustrated or upset in any way. You'll get it. I promise. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys. Okay. okay. Carl, which are you, Carl? Okay. Yes, Carl, sir. When is the green belt class? Green belt class is the I next class, honey. Because green belt will start in 11 minutes, okay? 11 minutes. Yeah, 11 minutes. And if you are, yeah. green, you definitely need to be on there. When you're, when you are. Bye bye, Dalton. Green belt, can you, can you um, take people down? 
Yes, only if they're green belt and above. If if the other person you're working belt with is not a green belt, you shouldn't take them down because they haven't been trained how to fall yet, okay? And you don't want to hurt you. Okay, you're welcome. Who else? Bye. Maverick. Bye bye. Maverick, what's your question, honey? Um, is Miss Lauren here? Not today. Miss Lauren is on Mondays, okay? Are, what, are you saying you like Lauren better than me, Maverick? Me no, I just wanted to tell her thank you for the treats. Oh, I'm sure she uh, is very happy about helping you with that. And I was joking, by the way, Maverick. I would never do that to anyone. <laughs> Have a great day, Maverick. So when you see her one day, tell her thank you. Was there anyone else that had a question, you guys? Mar oh, Miranda, there you are. Yes, Miranda. Miranda. I forgot my question. That's okay. If you remember later and it's super important, have your mom call the studio, okay? And then Mr. Gavin. Okay, Mr. Gavin, what do you have for me? What, what is the name of the live stream? Live stream, what does that mean? Middleburg Martial Arts? No, like it says live on YouTube. Yes, and that's because we are videoing it to be put on YouTube so that students can watch it again later. Someone who missed class or someone who doesn't remember something from class can go back to it and watch it, okay, honey? Mm-hmm. That's why we mute everyone so that um, there's not a lot of uh, noise in the background so that people can watch it without having the distractions. Okay. Okay, have a great day. Yeah. Do you have a question, Cordy? Yeah, oh, let me unmute you then. There we go, Cordy. I, I just wanted to say hi, Amanda. How's your day going so far? It is very well, and how are you? I'm very well. What now? I'm living, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's a positive, right? So each day we need to add a tiny little positive on top of that one so that we feel better and better about ourselves. It takes time. It Indeed. does. But I know that you are going to be the most happy person one day. And part of that is because I'm going to harass you so much about it. <laughs> 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 and of course, learning karate will get you there too, because there's so much in it, you know, to challenge our mind and our body. And I really, I really do feel like we teach a lot of really good stuff other than the karate to help us be better people. And I think that'll help in the long run. I believe so. I hope so too. That's right. So I hope you have a really good day, Cordy. And I'll see you Oh, it'll be a whole nother week, won't it? Probably. <laughs> yeah, because it's Tuesday. On Tuesday, I'll see you again. Well, have a great day, a great week. Keep practicing. Read a book, learn something, have fun. Join us on game day. <laughs> I'll try to. My parents okay. are constantly busy, though. <laughs> I know, I know. We're all the busies. Okay, have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. I got to stop the recording on this one. Okay.